Decorating for Wisdom. The Chinese consider the brush pots a cultural tool. Generally, if you have brush pots at home, they're also considered treasure attracting pots. These pots gather the treasure of wisdom. Children at home need to study while growing up. So it's best to have pretty but not flashy calligraphy brushes, ink stones and brush pots in the home. In the old days, a brush pot was very common on an educated person's desk. Remember that brush pots have no holes in the bottom. They don't leak. Flower pots have holes in the bottom so water can drain. A brush pot doesn't leak since it's considered a stationary item that makes children smarter and wiser. Don't leave it empty. Usually, put at least two to three brushes inside that are of different lengths. To symbolize the arising of growth, it's best to put a tall brush on the inside. It's good to guide your children to practice calligraphy and write their name. This is pretty necessary. It's a small treasure attracting pot for gathering wisdom and luck. A brush washer is also a common thing on a scholar's desk. What it does is stated in its name. You wash your brushes in it. It looks like a small soup bowl. They come in different sizes. Some call it a brush sea. What does this mean? The owner could develop a sea of wisdom and become a great philosopher who is as wise and knowledgeable as the sea. These are some common practices. Some people will also buy an inkstone for their children. That's not too big for normal use, just a rectangular, very simple and straightforward one is fine. Buy one of those. They can use it while writing. This is a photo of a common inkstone that schoolchildren use. This is the best. Some inkstones have unnecessary engravings of dragons and phoenixes used to fool amateurs. Students use these small inkstones often. There are four types of famous inkstones in China. There's no need to buy them for a normal kid if you don't have the budget. A normal inkstone that costs a few bucks is good enough. We just want the implication behind it. Scholars usually hope their kids to succeed in their career, family, and have some achievement. In order to obtain achievement, education is usually needed to realize one's dreams. Usually, in their study room, or at some wealth spots in the living room. People like to put something called a scroll pot. Not quite, but it's something like this. By comparing with my face, you can figure out its size. This is a porcelain pot. This one has a big mouth. Like its name suggests, you put scrolls and paintings in it. Those are standard ones. They're suitable for living rooms, study rooms, and even bedroom corners. These places are all okay. They're great influences that kindle a love of reading in your kids. Attracting wisdom is the key function of the scroll pots. They make your children smarter and wiser, thanks to the wisdom attracted by the pot. This is an example of using feng shui at home to benefit ourselves. Real wisdom doesn't come easily, but this is a method of attracting wisdom through feng shui.